heated up that using in a pressure cooker could um, <clears throat> could burn off some of the toxins, but not all of them. That's just what I read on there. I mean, there's not really too much to say about that. But anyways, that's pretty much all I got to say about the fish. I'm just gonna just keep on walking. All right, so let's, let's get out of here and I'm gonna just start walking. Okay. Here we go. Hang on, that didn't quite work out so well. Hang on. I meant to turn it a little bit this way. There we go. All right, I'm going. See ya. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to grab my camera. <laughs> okay, so here I go. I'm just gonna, I'm really gonna start walking now with the camera. Yeah, so my plan is pretty much going to take effect with the fish. And there's really nothing stopping me at this point. As far as wanting to eat that fish, you know, I'm kind of skeptical. But, yeah, I mean, the only reason why I'd be skeptical is because I've never eaten a raw fish before. So eating a rotten raw fish is really pushing the limits to what I'm capable of eating. I mean, I would like to one day eat a raw fish, but I don't think this would be the time to do it. And plus, I have work, and if I get sick from it, I'd have to take paid time off. And believe me, there's some horror stories out there of people getting so sick from eating rotten meals that they, their stomach is, you know, they get all these cramps in their stomach. Sometimes they can last for days, weeks, even a month. Like that's not something that I'd be able to deal with for a long period of time. And you always hear that famous wise saying, when in doubt, throw it out. But in this case, I'm trying to throw it out for the birds. I mean, if I would have eaten that fish, probably wouldn't have been one that's been sitting at a grocery store. And to tell you the truth, even those fish aren't fresh enough. And you have to remember that when it's been handled by people, even if it's been refrigerated immediately afterwards, it can still collect bacteria. So that means that it's collected enough bacteria that it, a raw fish would probably make you sick. It's not enough to just wash the fish under a sink like you would with raw fruits and vegetables to be able to make something like that safe to eat. Because, it, because of the fact that the bacteria can go inside of the fish. Because, of the, because it's not dry on the outside it can collect moisture so as long as the moisture can get inside the fish then so can the bacteria okay so that's how that works so if you're gonna eat a raw fish it better be straight off the fishing line because that's the only way you're gonna be able to do that 
if you've never eaten a raw fish before. So as far as me and oh yeah, no, by the way, we've been read online and I kid you not, okay, there's people that have eaten raw meat that are like a year old. I mean that's really, really pushing the limits. Um, but keep in mind that they were packed in like an airtight container. You'd have to put the meat inside a container. You'd have to seal it up and then not touch it for like a long period of time. Now you can probably open up the, the jar every now and then probably to prevent it from... Well really what you're doing is you're trying to encourage fermenting to occur in the meat. Which can sometimes be very healthy, just like how yogurt ferments or cheese ferments over time. Well, you can do the same process with meat, too. And the bacteria can actually help your digestive system. So, yeah, so sometimes eating rotten meat can be helpful if you do it correctly. Okay, well, I'm going to stop this recording. And I'm just going to keep on walking. And then we'll be back for a feeding of one of these birds. All right, here we go.